this is the maftoul. We're going to be using the box and it's a lot easier. This way you don't need the double boiler, steamer, pot, anything. So first we're going to get started with the chicken so we can use the stock to cook the maftoul. have two chickens that we took the skin off of and then uh, patted dry. I put olive oil, seasoning salt, black pepper. I'm going to put some bay leaves and some cardamom powder. You want to put some cardamom powder? About half of a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle it on top. Now we're going to turn on the heat and saute it until it gets a little bit browned. We're going to put three tablespoons of the chicken bouillon powder. Sprinkle or just drop it? Yeah, however. It's going to get cooked either way. All right, so now we're letting the chicken sear and we're going to turn it as soon as it gets this color. That's going to give you a better tasting broth or stock. Now that the chicken got browned on both sides, we're going to add the water to the pot. And then we're going to cover it for about 40 minutes. And we're going to keep skimming the foam off as it comes to the top. I'll show you what that looks like once it happens. All right, so now when the chicken comes to a boil, some foam is going to come to the top. We don't want that because it's going to give a not so good flavor to your meal. But now I'm just going to cover it so it can just keep boiling set the timer to 40 minutes on high yeah on high see this foam that's what oh, we yeah. don't want in our our stock we're just gonna keep skimming it off and then just keep a bowl on the side just like that so now we're gonna put some olive oil in a large saucepan or a small pot is that good uh -huh, that's good we're gonna drop in some diced onions and let that saute with some cumin so let's some, add some cumin do two tablespoons of cumin little more that's okay <laughs> the more cumin the better just put it <laughs> we're just gonna mix it together and let the onions soften up and get a little bit of color to them so if you can see the onions are now cooked it's ready for us to put the maftur in what the maftur looks like and we're going to add it to the onions and we're going to just uh, toss it around in the onions so it can all get coated with the oil and the cumin. So now we're going to mix the onions with the maftur so that it's not so good. And just toast it up. Each cup of maftur you need one and a half cups of broth. So each box has two cups of maftul so it's three cups of broth and we're going to use the real measuring cup but that's not full let me put a little bit more all right and now we're going to just mix it together and then cover it mix it in with the broth just give it a mix together with the broth and then we're going to cover it so it can uh, soak up all the liquid. Now to the chicken stock that's left in the pot with the chicken, we add some tomato paste and we're gonna add in the chickpeas that we drained. And this, you're just gonna let it simmer while the maftul finishes in the pot. It's pretty much done. You just want the tomato sauce and paste to cook through and the chickpeas to get a little softer, but the chicken is fully cooked. So we're just gonna cover it and let it simmer now. been 12 minutes so we're gonna fluff it with a fork and see if it's tender or not it looks amazing so it was still a little al dente like it had a bite so we put a little bit of water and we're gonna just cover it and leave it on off because we don't want it to burn on the bottom until we're ready to serve 